Hey guys, what's up? Once again, mp4podcast.com. And today we're taking a look at a very interesting application, and it's called Photo Rights. Um, you know, so if you're a photographer or a filmmaker, and you want to know what, you know, you, what you can get away with um, when you're filming, really good application to have on your phone or on your iPod Touch or your iPad or whatever. So we're going to go to Countries, and I do know that Phil Bloom re reviewed a JVC professional camcorder, but it's the size of a consumer camcorder, and you're not allowed to film in the Royal Parks. However, uh, Philip uh, took off the handle, and it looks like a consumer camcorder, and he was able to get away with it. So as you can see right here, um, you're not allowed to film in the Royal Parks in London. Now, probably a lot of security guys, they're probably not going to bust every single tourist because there's hundreds of them, you know, whatever. You know, unless you're probably a guy with a, like, with a TV camera. That's probably when, the, you know, say, hey, hey, you're not allowed to film, whatever. But there's people coming in and out of there so much. I mean, they just want to have it somewhat controlled, I guess. So it's uh, general rules, public places, free uh, passages, uh, private places, official uh in public places, people in, uh, in public areas, children, public order, national security, court buildings, wildlife, copyright, uh, yard conduct, and laws. And it can change a little bit, I guess. Uh, harassment, threats, this is United States. Um, you know, so it covers all that. And then it covers uh, your rights, uh, copyright, uh, privacy, contacts, questions, info, so we're going to go to copyright, oranges, or origins and types, um, copyright of photo. So you really get to know the laws really, really well uh, put together that are, you know, what you really need to know. So uh, let's go back in here. Um, you know, you can see everything that it covers right over here. So it's just a really good application. I'm telling you guys, you really should just have this application. Learn the laws because I can tell you um, I did see a music video, and I can't remember. Some of you are going to probably say who it is, but um, he was an artist, and he had a, a, a painting show on uh, PBS, and he had like um, kind of like an afro, but he was white. Um, and he used to do a lot of na uh, uh, nature paintings. I think it was Bob Ross. I think that's who it is. And somebody made a uh, Bob Ross music video. You can probably find it on YouTube. And there's a cop there, and he says, well, you're not allowed to film with a tripod. Uh, I guess because the tripod takes up a lot of space on the sidewalk. I don't know if that's really the case or not. A lot of people film with tripods. Uh, but they c continued filming their music video, but they had to do it handheld. So know your rights. Also, I do want to say, if you're going to film an action movie, you know, with, you know, fake guns, of course, uh, you can't film on a public street. You actually have to uh, contact your local police department because they don't want any 911 calls coming in saying, hey, these guys, there's a shooting over here, blah, blah, blah. That's actually happened a few times, even here in uh, the town next to Boston, uh, Charlestown. Some guys were filming a movie, and somebody called 911, but, you know, there were blanks, you know, you know, weren't real guns, but, yeah, they got in trouble. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in making a movie, um, you know, you don't really have to deal with a lot of legal uh or, you know, what I'm, I'm making up words now. Um, I'm going to leave a link to two videos. One is the Philip Bloom video where he reviews the JVC camcorder uh, where he can't go into the London parks. But also another great movie which I, uh, I really just love, filmed on a very small budget, $6,000, and it's called Bad is Bad. So check out those two links. And also I do want to say this. If you have a Roku box, you can watch the movie Bad is Bad on your Roku box if you download the Vimeo um, channel app. And also there is a 
another app which you can stream to your Xbox and PS3. I'll try to find that um, that app, but I did uh, do a review someplace. Some I can't remember the name of the app, but basically it turns your iPhone and your Android device into a media center. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for more great app reviews. Take care, guys. Later, bye.